Welcome to Wind Energy Career Gags. In this session, we are going to learn how Tamil Nadu state is contributing to the total wind energy installed capacity in India. What is its ranking as on today? Also, we will see the historical data of Tamil Nadu. Apart from that, you will be getting a gift from us as usual. Let us start. Hi, welcome to Wind Energy Career X. I am R. Mahindran. In this session, we are going to learn what is the total installed capacity in Tamil Nadu, how it is contributing to the total installed capacity of India. Also, we are seeing like we are going to learn about uh, year on year contribution, which year we are contributing a lot and how is the trend currently and what is the rank. That's also we will learn. Let us start. I hope most of you know that initially we started most of the project or wind energy projects started in Tamil Nadu. That's why you can see the trend itself. Initial years, you can see a lot of uh, contribution coming from Tamil Nadu state. Let us see how they are doing. As of now, it's like uh, I will go to total installed capacity. As of now, we are in 10,124.52 megawatt installed. It's the largest data means up to what are the installation capacity data available in India. That is what it is. Tamil Nadu is in number two place. Okay, let us see how month and like year on year, how the contribution is coming. And that will also help us to understand that trend, whether it will continue or it will change. All those things we can learn also. So the first data is showing like uh, it's the total installed capacity cumulative data till 2002. Okay, 31st. March 2002. Up to that time, we were total contribution from Tamil Nadu for the total installed capacity of India 877 megawatt. So the units are in megawatt. And second, you can see like 2002, like it's all financial data. 2002, we installed somewhere around uh, 133. Then again, it is crossed 371 uh, next year. And 2004 5, you can see 675. 0.5 megawatt then uh, 2005 6 it's like an again come back to like 875.6 megawatt in a single year this is a huge number this time i like to ask you one question like if you if possible check our previous video the answer is there what is the first time like when india achieved one gigawatt in a single year what was that year please check and share it in the comment and 2006-7, we achieved like a Tamil Nadu contributing 577.9 megawatt and 78, it's 380 megawatt and 89, 431. Again, it is continuing like 600 megawatt next year and then 2010-11, 997, almost 1 gigawatt in a year. And next year, they achieved 1.08 gigawatt. This is a huge number, 11-12. Just remember this year from Tamil Nadu. Uh, second, like uh, next consecutive year, they achieve more than one gigawatt. It's a huge number. After that, you can see the trend. It is like uh, again coming back to previous year, less than 200 megawatts continuously for almost four years. Then 2016 17, they reached 247, almost 250. Then uh, 335, again come back. It's a 771 uh, megawatt. It's a good number. Then again coming back to less than 400 megawatt continuously now so finally as on last march sorry may 202023 cumulative values 10.1 gigawatt overall we achieved so overall india is 43.2 gigawatt we achieved so this is the status of our uh, state how we are doing in terms of cumulative value and month on month uh, like sorry year on year why I am getting again and again month on month. Normally, we in that analysis and all, we use month on month analysis and all. That's why I am repeatedly getting that number. So, so this is the trend. I hope this trend will help you to understand how we are doing in each state wise, what is the future and all. Like gift as usual, like uh, we believe knowledge is one of the very key <laughs> thing we can transfer to the next generation. That's what we want to share. So here you will get the opportunity to learn continuously in our website. Visit our sustainablelifestylehub.com. There you can go to uh, like uh, directly to the quiz, RE quiz. 
here two way you can learn one is like you can get like uh, the quiz related participation you can this section you can go and participate in the quizzes and another section you can ask your priority questions here so if you click automatically you will open, come to this part you can fill all your questions here and uh, submit so if you want to add more question more than five questions then also you can add i will answer you in the next forthcoming videos i hope today this short learning really going to contribute to your uh, career if you are in wind energy sector or the people who want to learn about wind energy or students or professors who are maybe like want to understand how the wind energy trends is going inside india like i am doing it like state wise country wise already completed but state wise also now we are doing already uh, you might watched uh, the number one state uh, contribution installed capacity now the second one is done again continuously you can uh, rest of the states also you can learn so this will help you like shortest duration you can learn a lot so micro learning also we launched this is less than uh, five minutes of time you can learn this apart from that you can uh, learn within one minute time which is through questions okay so i am just asking this is the one of the question asked to people in my linkedin uh, connect the question is what is the influence or the effect from ti means turbulence intensity in wind turbine power curve in the various section of your power curve how it will affect so just uh, if you have the data scatter data you can also plot it and see at various uh, ti how it is influencing your power curve then you can uh, share your observations in the comment this is one of the micro learning you can do but you need to work <laughs> what the question is this so i threw the questions you can come up with the answer like that is one way of learning so we can continue i also see you in the next uh, video maybe in different kind of content uh, that will be helpful to you share with the people if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe to our channel and i would like to thank all the people who already subscribed to our channel and uh, supporting us continuously i will come up with a lot of valuable uh useful valuable helpful for your career uh, such informations and you can ask any questions if you have if you want some information related to wind energy you can also ask in the uh, comments but if you fill that form it will be helpful for us we i don't want to miss any questions so you can fill the form also see you in the next video thank you very much